This is set number 75344 Boba Fett Starship Microfighter. Comes with 85 pieces, one minifigure, and retails for $10. It also released in the year 2023, and is based on either The Return of the Jedi or The Book of Boba Fett. I'll get into that later. The box art on the set is very nice, with on the front there being a backdrop of Jabba's Palace. That makes me think it is based on Return of the Jedi. The back of the set features some more sand and some mountains in the distance. Opening up the set, there is a couple of bags and the instruction manual. Thank goodness there are no stickers. After building the set, I must say, it's a pretty decently sized microfighter. At 85 pieces, that is a bit less than they usually have, but it doesn't feel like it's missing much. The set does feature more play features than a usual microfighter, with the wings being able to move. They don't move by themselves as some of the bigger slave ones or Boba Fett starships do, but you can move them if you want. The set also does feature some flick fire missiles. It's been a really long time since we've seen these. They usually just do stud shooters, and I feel like these actually work a lot better. They're much more accurate to what is actually supposed to be there, which is the black cannons. It's just they are a lot more of a pain to fire. The main play feature of this set, however, is that you can put Boba Fett in the starship. You just open this little cockpit area, which I think is very poorly designed, which I'll get into later, and you just sit Boba Fett down there. There isn't any studs keeping him in place, but he won't really fall out, and it is a very tight fit. You can also sit him like this, which is something I discovered while messing around with the set. There isn't a control panel or anything over there, but this is just an extra way you can do it. Moving on to the minifigure in the set, it is Boba Fett. This minifigure is really confusing to me because this is the Mandalorian version of him. As you can see, I have the Return of the Jedi version here too, and you can see how different they actually are. The Boba Fett and the Microfighter is lacking that side cape thing and lacking the sand blue color. And he is also the exact same minifigure that came in Boba Fett's starship that was actually based on the Mandalorian. So that just makes it even more confusing why is there Jabba's palace in the background of the set because that's from Return of the Jedi. I also realized that in the Book of Boba Fett show they do use the Slave One and Jabba's palace does become Boba Fett's palace but I feel like there are cooler environments they could have used for the box art instead of just Jabba's palace because Jabba's palace can make people think it's a Return of the Jedi set when it really isn't. But anyway, just looking at the minifigure, he is pretty detailed. Nothing wrong with him. I really like the torso and the leg print. His helmet is way too light, though. They should have definitely just made a darker green helmet if they were going to make the armor so dark. But yeah, pretty solid minifigure. Not exclusive, though. Taking a look at the build's design, there are a lot of problems here. One of them being the cockpit piece. This windshield does not fit at all. They should have made a new mold for it. I just feel like it isn't very good because there's so much space. I know it's a microfighter and it's really cheap, but still, I feel like they could have tried a bit harder like maybe put some glass panels on the sides to fill it up it just feels really bare also taking a look at the back i feel like this engine design is really lazy and looks awful at least just put the engine pieces inside of some dark gray circular pieces i feel like that would just looked a lot better because this just looks really lazy but other than that i feel like this set is pretty good if you want a cheap way to get boba fett this is definitely a great option